Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Bass Watch, we're doing some fishy things, aren't we? Little fishy things. Little fishy things. No, we're not catching bait. Um, if, if so, it's the most beautiful bait you've ever seen. I wouldn't use it. No. It's too pretty. No, not at all. Um, we're actually here at Sandy Creek Covered Bridge State Historic Site in Goldman, Missouri. Cool fact, this is one of four covered bridges left in the entire state. Um, this one was built in 1872. It was one of six covered bridges built in Jefferson County to connect the county seat of Hillsboro to the big city of St. Louis. So, Super cool that it's still here and now it's a historical site. It is. So we'll link it. We'll put you a GPS dot where we're at and you guys can come here and enjoy. Just be respectful. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get on to some fishing. <laughs> and um, Fishing? Yeah, right, we left the poles at home. So. Okay, we hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. Yeah, I don't want to be just like scooping here because this, this stuff like hell on in there. Oh, there's one. <laughs> that was fast. A little guy. It's colored, but kind of This is the main reason that we are here. Oh, so pretty. This here is a rainbow darter. Actually, part of the perch family. Um, no sunfish are not perch. I know that they go by that name, but this is part of the perch family. This guy is actually in the same family group as a walleye, which is funny. Look how tiny he is. Beautiful tropical colors. And that is almost full grown. They don't get a whole lot bigger than that. And he is just beautiful. Oh, you don't want to show your face to the camera? This is a male. Males are in their spawning mode right now. So this is why the gorgeous colors Whoops. come up. <laughs> yeah, look at it. He is amazing. Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go back? Beautiful. Get him the water. Like colored transformation on them. Species number two, a big old mottled sculpin. These guys are bottom feeders, obviously. And those giant pectoral fins, powerful. Very beautiful fish. This is a really good example of one. They get maybe a little bit bigger than that. Look, looks like a looks like a toadfish. Look at that tail fan. <laughs> Are you mad? Oh. He is mad. These fish have a wonderful... Stop it. Um, they got a wonderful way. They can actually chameleonize their colors to blend in with their surroundings. Put them somewhere where...
He's got a big old belly. Did you see that? Got some babies. Oh, congratulations. God has the best palette of colors. He needs the best artist too. Okay. Bye. Thank you. He jumped out. You're gonna be a little big in here, buddy. Delicious. Delicious. Central stone. Oh, he's got little parasites on his fins. Does he? Yeah. See. Yep. Sure does. I zoomed in on it. That is one of the top forage. Fish for smallmouth bass in the Ozarks. Ooh, it went down my coat. See him on this side. Yeah. Tubercles. Mm -hmm. Fancy name. So this is what we came down here for. This species is endemic to the Merrimack River drainage. And its name is Merrimack Saddle Darter. Very fitting. Look at his orange spots on his fins. You can only find, the only place in the world you can find this fish is here in Missouri within the Merrimack River drainage. 
He's got like bars on his back like a saddle. Yep, got the saddle marks. And that orangish red, beautiful belly and speckles. He's a gorgeous fish. Beautiful and, example. And they get better. But this is just the first one we found so far. Very cool fish. It has turquoise. Mm -hmm. Whatever those are called. <laughs> oh, bye. Mm -hmm. He is beautiful. Man fish. Yeah. Okay, we will let him go. Get mm -hmm. underwater. So you might ask yourself, how do I catch some of these pretty little fish? Well, we already showed you where they like to inhabit. Permanent, clean, clear running streams with, with a nice gravelly, rocky substrate and riffles. You concentrate on the riffles and the hydraulics. For those who don't know what substrate is, bottom. The bottom. Rocky bottom. Rocky gravelly bottom. Yep. And hydraulics are where the riffles are kind of turbulent. And equipment, you can use a variety of nets. I like a good strong one. I like to use this one here. It's called the Perfect Dip Net from Jonah's Aquarium. And we'll link that in the description. It's not your cheapest bet, but it is your best bet for the money. You'll, you'll re be tearing up little nets because you can use little bug and minnow nets but it's not very easy. You kind of got to hunt them and just grab them. With this, you get them. They sell replacements for the bag. They even make a little one. Like I got one for Ryder called the Little Dipper, which is, which is great. And they work awesome. It's purposely built for species collecting. These are cool. They're fully aluminum. They break down into three sections. Um, if you wear out the netting in it, you can purchase just the netting from their website. We'll put a link down in the description to this wonderful thing here and then the photo tank uh, there's a variety of companies that make this little photo tank or you can make your own if you're crafty like that with some acrylic or plexi or something this one comes from uh, a website called Tinkara Bum which is like a micro fishing type uh, website and it's really handy and this little thing was like i want to say it's definitely under 10 bucks more like five bucks and this so, is the small one yeah this is a small one they make bigger ones sometimes they're harder to find but this one here works for the majority of what we like to do mm -hmm. get you these they will definitely do it to get some really up close beautiful pictures of fish that nobody knows exists it's in their native they belong here they've been here forever um, prettiest fish you'll never see but this is a great time of year everybody's starting to come out of hibernation and the streams and the woods are starting to come alive get out there and go for it learn teach other people just have fun with it and we're glad that you guys came along today and we can't thank you enough for watching and subscribing keep it up because we're going to keep it up and um yeah Stay wild. Stay wild.
with, well, use one from, we'll just edit this.